In our last video in the Trash Guide series, we had set up sonar according to the Trash Guides. In this video, we're going to be setting up LiDAR following the same Trash Guides. I am using the cache drive with a NUNRAID. If you don't have a cache drive set up yet, then I highly recommend you get one and add it to the system. I'll leave a link in the description to a drive that I recommend. If you'd set up LiDAR following my previous LiDAR video, then you'll have to make these adjustments to get it set up for Trash Guides. Once again, we're going to do a quick install and we'll get into the configuration. Let's get started. As always, the first thing we're going to do is go over to Apps and search for the application. In the search box, I'm going to put in BinHex LiDAR and press Enter. There it is. This is your first time setting it up. This Actions button here will say Install. If this isn't your first time setting it up and you're just making updates to it, you can click on Actions and go to Edit. Once you're in the Add Container page, first thing we're going to do is change the network type from Bridge to our custom network. If you don't have a custom network set up yet, then be sure to watch my other video on getting Unraid ready for trash guides. So I'll select my custom alien proxy. We're going to scroll all the way down and expand to show Docker allocations. We'll go back to host port one, double click on that port, press control F on the keyboard for the find option. We're looking to see if that port's available. It shows three results. We've got two right here in the container. If we scroll down under the Docker allocations, you'll see that Binhex LiDAR is currently using that port. And since this is the same container, it's okay to reuse it. If it's being used by something else, then you'll need to change that port number. And as you probably know, I just increment this port up here by one, if that is the case. So it'd be now 86, 87. I see if that's available. All right, next thing is host path two. In my previous video, we'd set this up to be under the location of slash MNT slash user slash downloads. We are changing that according to trash guides. So let's get rid of the downloads. And we're going to drop down and select data. So it's gonna be slash MNT slash user slash data. We'll do the same thing for host path three. We'll get rid of the media and then music. And we're gonna change that to data. So it's slash MNT slash user slash data. Everything else is good. We'll scroll down, hit apply, and then done. All right, now let's jump over to our Docker tab. We'll find binx LiDAR in the list here and mine's in a folder. If yours is not, then you just find it in the list here. So I'm gonna expand my folder, find it down here, binx LiDAR. I'll make sure that the auto start is turned on and it is. Then I'm going to click on the icon and go to web UI. If this is your first time in LiDAR, then be sure to watch my other video in LiDAR, Mastery Music with LiDAR. I'll leave a link in the description as well. In that video, I go through a lot more details on setting it up and configuring everything and what everything does. This one's just kind of a quick and dirty and adjusting it to fit the trash guides. So the first thing we're going to need to do is go to settings, media management, and we want to make sure to click on show advanced. And we're going to scroll down. We'll look for the importing heading. Then under that, look for use hard links instead of copy. We want to make sure that that is selected. And it is. Now we're going to need to move our media files. And I'm going to be using Crusader. If you don't have Crusader installed, then go watch my video and install Crusader. I left a link to that in the video description as well. So to do that, I'm going to go back to the server. Go to the Docker tab. Find Crusader. Mine's already running, so that's good. Click on the icon and go to Web UI. On the left side, we have to browse to where our media currently is. So I'm going to go on the double dots here at the top which is to go back a directory, double click on that. We need to go back one more, so another double click. We'll drop down and find media. Then we're gonna to go to user, double click on that one. And the music is currently under media here and music. Now on the right side, we're gonna do the same thing. Find the double dots at the top, go back a directory, go back again, another double click. We're gonna go down to media, user, data this time, media, and then music. And I had done this the wrong way earlier. I had copied them all through my PC. So I'm going to just delete these and show you how to do it much faster. So we'll get rid of that real quick. Delete, trash it. Yes, gone. Since we have hard links set up, the move here will be much faster. So what I'm going to do is go over to the original location, do Control A to select everything, and then make sure the location is correct on the other side. It's under Data, Media, Music, which is where I want it. Then I'm going to hit F6. We'll just make sure it's correct. We're moving six files to Media, User, Data, media, music, which is correct. Hit okay, and it's moved way faster. If you have more than one music folder, then you do the same thing for that folder as well. You just go back a level. So go back to the breadcrumb there, go back one here, find your other folder you need to move, go into it, find the corresponding one on the other side, go into that, control A for everything, and then move it. It's pretty easy, definitely a lot quicker. Once you're done with that, we're gonna move on. But before we do that, if you're finding value in this video, be sure to hit that like button to let me know. Next thing we need to do is to move the music paths in LiDAR. So let's go back to LiDAR. I wanna make sure we're under settings, then media management. Then at the top, you're gonna to have your root folders here. So our first one is slash media. So let's go ahead and add a new folder. So we'll hit the plus to add a new root folder. We're gonna name this one, we'll name it music. We'll select the path. 
that's going to be under data media and then music and press OK. Then you can select if you want to monitor all the albums or none of them. And I don't need any of that monitored right now. So I'm just going to do none. And no, we'll set the quality to standard and standard profile. That all looks good. Once you're good, hit save. You'd repeat that process for each root folder of music that you have. I just have the one. So that's all that I need. Now let's create a filter for that music. If you have more than one type, then you want to create filters. If you only have one root folder, then you're not going to need to create a filter, but I'll show you how to do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy the location of the original root folder. In this case, it's slash media. So I'm going to click onto that, copy that. We'll hit cancel. We're going to go up to library, go over to filter. We're going to go down to custom filter. The label, we're going to call this music. And then under filters, we want to change monitored to path. And it contains to starts with. Then we'll paste in the root location that we had copied earlier. Then we're going to hit save. And it should default to that filter now, but let's check. So we click on filter and yes, that is selected. If you have more than one root location, then you're going to want to create filters for each one. So we'll go back to all, go to settings, media management, find the next one, select it, copy it, hit cancel, go back to your library, go to filters, do another custom filter, add a filter, label it, change it to path, contains, we're going to change that to starts with, and then you'd paste it in. Then you hit save. I just have the one, so I'm going to cancel out of there. And I'll make sure that filter is selected. There we go. So now we're going to go to our library and then click select artists. We'll do select all. On the bottom, we're going to click edit. Then under root folder, we're going to drop down and select the new location. In this case, for me, it's going to be slash data slash media slash music. Then we'll hit apply changes. Then it's going to ask if you want LiDAR to move all the media for you. We've already moved it, so we don't need to do that. So we'll go ahead and hit no. I'll move the files myself. Then we'll go up and select stop selecting. Now we'll go back to filters, go down to custom filters. And since we're done with this, I'm going to hit the little X to delete it, remove it and close. Just to make sure we're on everything, we're going to go back to filter and make sure that all is selected. If you have more than one root folder of music, then you'd go in and do the same thing. You'd select the filter, select the custom filter that you had, and then you just repeat the process. But we're good. So I'll go to all, leave it there. Now let's go remove the old root folders. To do that, we're going to go to settings, up to media management again. And on the top here, you'd find the original location, which for me, it's just backslash media. You click onto it and you click delete and delete again. And you'd repeat that process for each of the old folders that you had. Once those are gone and you're just left with the new ones you created, then you're pretty much done. Once LiDAR has been changed, the atomic moves will save unnecessary reads and writes to your server drives. What do you think of the process? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, check out one of these next and I'll see you in the next one.